Being secure also means being safe. Safe at home, at school, at work. And today I want to talk about how we keep our country safe from a threat that's on everyone's minds, the threat of terrorism. We need a comprehensive strategy to counter each step in the process that can lead to an attack like the one in San Bernardino. First, we have to shut down ISIS recruitment in the United States, especially online. Second, stop would-be jihadists from getting training overseas and stop foreign terrorists from coming here. Third, discover and disrupt plots before they can be carried out. Fourth, support law enforcement officers who risk their lives to prevent and respond to attacks. And fifth, empower our Muslim American communities who are on the front lines of the fight against radicalization. We have to stop jihadists from radicalizing new recruits in person and through social media, chat rooms, and what's called the dark web. To do that, we need stronger relationships between Washington, Silicon Valley, and all of our great tech companies and entrepreneurs. American innovation is a powerful force, and we have to put it to work defeating ISIS. That starts with understanding where and how recruitment happens. It defies common sense that Republicans in Congress refuse to make it harder for potential terrorists to buy guns. If you are too dangerous to fly, you are too dangerous to buy a gun, period. And we should insist We should insist on comprehensive background checks and closed loopholes that allow potential terrorists to buy weapons online or at gun shows. And I think it's time to restore the ban on assault weapons and high-capacity magazines.